there's fish right there. Oh, oh man! Barely hooked! I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> he was so on it, too! <laughs> I'm Roddy Ryan, that was great. Alright, so tease. Fish. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Herring, and this is Jeremy for dinner. We're down here in the Florida Keys right now. The storm, this was uh, Hurricane Elsa that turned into Tropical Storm Elsa, just came past. Uh, so all day we've just been cooped up inside and we're getting ready to start fishing really heavily. Now, anytime I'm down here, I'm always focused on live bait. I always wanna have plenty of live pinfish because with pinfish, you can catch fish on the reef, you can catch fish offshore, you can catch tarpon. You can even catch snapper right here at the dock as long as you've got live bait. If you go to the store and just try to buy a bait well or a bait pen, they're pretty expensive. Now you can, but for something like this, I'm gonna show you how to make a bait well using just a garbage can. You need a garbage can and a pool noodle. And you need some zip ties, just like this. Get it started, then put your pool noodle on right in there. Come on, get in there. But we only want it to go about halfway. About halfway, like that. Come all the way around here. Make sure it's nice and tight there. Doi, like a thigh get. And then you also make sure your zip tie is going the right direction. What I mean by that, see how the zip tie has a, a big end on this side and it's flat here? The zip tie always has to go in like that. You probably already know that, but I showed you just in case. Just like that. Now, at the halfway mark, right here, you just cut that. This is another tool needed. This is a drill with a little 5 8 paddle bit. And this is how you measure. So, if this, this is one of our pen fish traps. We're gonna be showing you how to use that as well. Make sure that your paddle bit is not bigger than your hole, okay? That's not hard to figure out. Now all I did right there, I just locked it in place. Now, we are gonna do the exact same thing on this side over here. It's really not a complicated process whatsoever. All the way Cut this thing off. And unless you're just an absolute perfectionist, it doesn't have to be like super duper perfect. Cut off all your tag ends. Okay, you guys, this is my helper. This is Wyatt. I'm gonna show y'all a ninja trick. This is my magic cape. It's actually a cover for a Weber grill. Get it inside there. Mm -hmm. That's called thinking ahead. All you married men out there, you know what I'm doing. Now we're gonna start. Making holes. Look at that. Now, A number one, now you see why I use the bag. Now all my trash is in the bag. And now this has holes. Come out here, look in here, look, look in the light. See that? That's what we're looking for right there. But we're not done yet. On top, you don't want to put too many holes, but you gotta have a top. If you do not have a top, birds will come land here, da -da 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 -da, eat all your bait, or they could jump out. And then I always highly suggest putting a tether on it just like that, so that if it comes off, you don't lose your top. 
now we are ready. Very important that you have something like this. You could use a rock, anything. That's just a one pound lead. Let me show you how this thing is going to look in the water. Put your lead right in there. Put this on. Put this in the water. It's got to fill up with water. Now you have a live bait well. It's always important. Make sure if you're going to leave this thing for a while, make sure your lid is attached and uh, you're good to go. Um, another thing, I like to leave my bait well in the water. As soon as I get here, put it in the water, let some of that algae, let some of that growth start growing on the inside of your bait pin. Then when your bait gets in there, it's not rubbing just on hard plastic. It's, it's got that natural feel of the ocean. Now, let's go catch some bait. This is a pinfish trap. Uh, a guy named Rob's Real Baits makes them. He also makes my crab traps. This is the door on top. Open it up. Best way to catch these things. It's not complicated once you know how, but I'm gonna show you a trick. This is some chum. I like that. Take a saw. Take this, put it right inside there. Then shut your door. Hey, hey, let's go catch some bait. Okay, so I've got my trap, it's baited, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a new waypoint. New waypoint. Save. Now we know we're gonna come back to this exact same spot. We'll use this Simrad chart plotter and we'll pull our we'll pull our trap. Now let's go over here and put another one out. Now, we only put a little bit of chum in there. That's gonna fish for about an hour, maybe two. Then we'll come back and see what we got. Hey, it's been one hour. We're gonna head out and pull our traps. Hopefully we caught some. Watch out. What do we have? Oh, we got pinfish! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Look at that. That beautiful bait for tomorrow. Not a ton of them, but enough. Put them right in our bait well. Play with ice well in there. Oh. Hey! 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 We got bait. Let's get check the other trap. Trap number two, coming to the hill. Oh, a bunch of them. Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and we got a crab! Woo! Hey. Oh, oh, man! <laughs> Sir, look at the little crab. Yay, yay, yay! Awesome. Yay, little crab. Hey, who wants a blue crab? <laughs> oh, there it is. Crab. It's you? Isn't that cool? Can we eat him? What's now all you've got to do, take this, open it up. Let it fly. Oh, you got one. Oh, remind me of my pet fish. Find one to get out of the back. He would die. He was gonna die. Awesome. All that was in one hour. Hey, now we're gonna head back to the house. I'm gonna show you how the bait well works. And now as simple as this. So as you can see right here, the bait well is still running. But I don't wanna run my bait well all night long, so I'm gonna shut it off. If you shut your bait well off, all your bait dies overnight and then you're really unhappy. So what I do is I just take my bait well, just like this, let some of that water drain out. I always put a little loop right here. Take your lid off and you can get all of your bait. 
see this? And you just dump them right in here. Ooh, Dad! Ooh. Can I come look, on? Look, look. Whoa! <laughs> angry. Take your crab. Anytime you're catching blue crabs like this, You want to take his little claws off. Why? I'll explain to you why. Why do we have to? Then why do we have to take his, um, his pinchers off? Because if we don't take his pinchers off, then he's going to sit there and attack all the bait. And then he's going to hurt him. But that right there is a fantastic bait. What a bite. Of course, you can come on here. Now, hey, one second, let me get the rest of these bait. Look at that. Woo. As you can see, my kids' toys are all in the bait well because they think this is their private pool. There you go, honey pie. Now. Is there any more? I found one. There you go. Take this. Go one. Let it go right back in the water. Dad got it. Oh, you got one. Holy cow. Hey, let him go. That's, she just caught one. Good job. You know what they say, one always has to go back. Now, these baits would live, literally live in here indefinitely. As long as we fed them, they would live in here indefinitely. But tomorrow, when it's time to go fish, all we've got to do, come over here, take our little loop, put it on top of there, open it up, and there's going to be all of our bait happy and healthy and ready to go. Maybe we use them, maybe we don't. But one thing's for certain, we got them. Now, you could do this exact same thing, trying to keep live shiners, pinfish, whatever live bait you want, that will work really, really well. And all you need is a trash can and some pool noodles. Hope that helped you guys. I hope you're enjoying this series down here in the Florida Keys. We are in Summerlin Key. This is our brand new boat. And if we get 10,000 likes on this video, I'm gonna give you an entire walkthrough. You're gonna see every single nook and cranny. And uh, all right, Emma, do you like the boat? Yes, but that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.